Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell me, do you know the feeling? Tell me, do you know the feeling? Homie in a Lambo? Nah. Homie in a Hellcat? Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? So tomorrow's my nephew's birthday. Stop looking at that. Tomorrow's my nephew's birthday, so I'm going to go out and buy my car. One second. Get over here! I think he wants a Mustang. So let's go check some Mustangs out. Let's go. On my way to go buy my nephew a car. I think he deserves it. And to me, it's much more than a car for him. Because, you know, my kid's mom, when I, was, when I first got with her, and I, and I first had my son in 2007, she kicked me out the house. And, you know, she sent me up to Massachusetts. So when I got to Springfield, Massachusetts, I live with my sister in Plainfield. Springfield, Massachusetts is the little, the little spot called Plainfield. So, you know, I was living up there. I just had found a job. Me and my brother, uh, Pedro, went up there to live. Uh, my little brother, Alexi, was already up there. He's the one who just got killed. Um, so we were working at a factory called Plasti Pack. And, you know, we made bottles for Coca-Cola, Dasani, and shit like that. Freaking one of the hardest jobs I ever had. Well, I think it was a freaking like 14 hour shifts in that thing. Oh my God. So he was young, but he was always close to my brother. And you know, my brother, you know, um, my sister, which is, um, that's why he's my nephew, because he's my, my, my sister's son. You know, once she got with her boyfriend, she kind of like neglected him and moved to Connecticut. So like my nephew was like, you know, bouncing from house to house. And like nobody in Philly knew what was going on. We just thought, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's living their own lives. So, you know, when my brother came down and lived in Philly, you know, I wasn't the nicest to my brother because I, I, I expected him to be a man. I'm like, dude, you got to you gotta do your own thing. You got to, like, you know. And, and it's because, you know, I have a lot of pressure on me, too, by everybody trying to pull, pull and pull and pull. You know, I kind of used to take it out on my younger brother. Like, dude, you got to do better, man. You got you to gotta try to do something with your life. Like, what you want to do with your life? And then every time he'll fall in love with a girl, it'll be in Massachusetts. So I always get mad at him, like, oh, you're down here to make money, but yeah, you take all your money and you go to Massachusetts. So he was doing that back and forth, but in the midst of it, he brought my nephew back down. So, you know, him and my nephew has always been close. They're playing, you know, reloaded basketball team together in Massachusetts. And, you know, my brother came one day to my house. January 4th, he was at my house when he was talking. And then, you know, he gets to Massachusetts early in the morning and one of his friends set him up to get shot he got shot and killed you know over two thousand dollars so they shot and killed my brother so it kind of left my nephew like damn like no nowhere to go like like you know so i just took him in help him out so this is probably the most stable he's ever been the best he's ever felt so you know, you know today's his birthday so well tomorrow's his birthday so you know try to do something nice cheer him up let him know that somebody does care you know it's kind of fucked up. You know, family ain't like family used to be. Family back in the days was everything, you know? And then, you know, when we look at these Caucasian families, these white families, everyone sticks together. And family means everything. When it comes to us, we try to compete, especially people from the hood like us, we try to compete with our family. Oh, my cousin ain't got this car, you know? It's like, and then like in the hood, we tend to get closer to our friends than, than we do our own family. So, you know, family means everything. It really does. You might not like them at times, but that's all you really got. I don't mean you got to put up with their bullshit either, but you know, it's fucked up. So anyway, I'm gonna show you some videos of my brother and my nephew always together. I'll show you my brother Alexi, who he really is. Let's go.
Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you flashy, what up, man? Say what up. Cause a couple of years ago I wasn't eating Now I watch out for them niggas that scheming I got me an M and I kept on repeating The love with the sound of that money machine I'm looking down at my diamonds be gleaming I got me a coffee each day of the week Bad bitches call telling me not to leave him I swear I wake up and it feels like a dream Cause a couple of years ago I wasn't eating Now I watch out for them niggas that scheming I got me an M and I kept on repeating The love You think the new ones right? Huh? What's the window sticker on this? I mean, even yeah, I think like it's proper. You don't have one. Huh? You want to own it. You guarantee you can fit it. You fit the wang on it. Do it. You fit that on it. You fit it. Nice and small. It's pretty dope. Holy crap! Can you see that? What color is that? cylinder does get up and go um, compared to the V8. So which ones are V8s? These are here. Oh, uh, they don't got his color. Black, red, right? Yeah, I could break that all down for you as well. All right. If I if I do get it, it'll probably be that burgundy one. Okay, not the red. I'm not the gray one. What you think? What you think? You like this one better? The red one. I like the interior. Oh yeah. And then that one got the dark. This is the closest to black you're gonna get. Plus when you when you tint the windows, it's all gonna look pretty. That's the heat seats there. The seats there. This is it. 5.0. This is what he wanted. Believe it or not, like I, I was gonna get him a Corvette. Okay. Then I started fiddling with some videos yesterday in front of him, and then I had the Corvette, the Camaro, and this versus each other. Then he was like, "Damn, that Mustang's a beauty." Yeah, yeah. Mustang it is. <laughs> it is for you, Mach. I know you ain't never really had much. You know, people left you for dead, but this is, you know, let you know I love you. I don't need no hugs, man. I don't like that gooshy stuff. Yeah, I'm do I stick them in a B4? Do you want a static or do you want... Oh, like that's a high-fun car. That's to, like, get you there fast. Kind of oh, gas, I'll get you there. I'll get you there looking nice. Oh. I'll get you there fast. I mean, pull it up somewhere. That's kind of hard. I let my brother make the decision. This is really much... I'm not gonna make the decision. No, my, my, no, my brother. This, my, this, this car for my nephew. Okay, okay. Cause I get him to turn it red. That's his color. He likes red and black. Remember he said it? Yeah, that's. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm letting you pick this real quick. All right. They got a GT, which is a V8, a gray, right? Now, now, but does he need a does he need a V8? They got these. Look at these puppies. But they're not V8s. Red one, huh? Bro. Gotta be the red one. Yeah, the gas is gonna kill him, right? What you, what you think? It's an eco boost, so it got turbo. Yeah, like like Nah. Yo, Dro. Red or white? Red. Let's go. I like white too. White's my color. But him, him I know is gonna be red. Oh, that red, that red, nice, especially with the black wool wheels. I like it. They said the same thing too. It was. This was fire. They like, they like, they like these. Uh, they like these regular ones. Price difference ain't that much. It's only like. It's a few grain, not that much. There's nothing I'll complain about, but. Yeah, but that guy, you know, nigga, he's not bad. You want to join me inside real quick? Huh? You want to join me inside real quick? Yeah, I'll get, get the red one. It ain't my car, so I'm gonna do a donut in this thing. <laughs> I don't do donuts in my car, but in his car, I will. <laughs> yeah, it's just smoke up, do a good burn up on the Cause they want to take our long. Yo, let me get a thing. One of the chargers. I actually like that, yeah. He's a uh, really good guy. You can tell he's just like uh, started. <laughs> Probably like a year or two ago, but he's gonna be a good salesman. Cause he has patience. Trust me. When I when I get impatient, I become a real bad customer. I can admit that. But I, I'm so used to dealing with veterans, like buying cars. You know, buying um almost what 30, 40 cars in the last two years. And like you know, I I, I expect a certain a certain thing. Yo, this thing right here, man, I want a Mustang now. Man, this thing is all right, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, look at this. Yo, this little, this thing was four plus is nice. Yo, I'm not even joking. That ain't the GT, but yo, this little EcoBoost is nice. I ain't gonna lie. This, he gonna be, he should be happy with this. You know what it is to get a brand new car, never like just out the dealership. It's a good feeling. A brand new car, period. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's crazy, yo. Like, I, I could do stuff like this for like, like my closest family. Spending forty grand, it's like me dropping a fucking penny. I'm telling you, yo, I, I used to look at things before like, damn, fifteen thousand dollars for that. Like, I never imagined getting to this point. You know, this shit wasn't passed on from, from my rich parents or, you know, like other people who, like, you know, no offense, but like Mr. Cardone, he gets on and he does like, you know, inspirational things, but I'm like, Mr. Cardone, like, you know, you made $500 million in real estate. I, I, even though, you know, he lost a lot of money in, in, in when the, when the uh, stock market crashed, but he was already touching a lot of money. I'm talking about five years ago, man, I didn't have a pot to piss in. I was just, you know, grinding. Like, you know when people tell you, yo, I got a dream, I'm gonna make this happen, I'm gonna buy a car. You don't really believe somebody when they say stuff like that. But I, myself, I believed it. Like, when I hear somebody say, yo, I swear to God, watch. Yo, I was the type of person to be like, I'm gonna go buy a Camaro next week. And everybody was like, how are you gonna buy a Camaro? I bought a Camaro, 2013. I bought me a Camaro. 
You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like, you work hard and things are going to pay off. They, like, don't expect anything from anyone. Stop believing your friends when they tell you they're going to get you a job. They're going to... Stop depending on people. You have to depend on yourself. If you're you're in a bad if you're in a bad situation right now, chances are you put yourself in it. And it, and you know why? Because even if your lover, your boyfriend, your girlfriend put you in them situations, you allowed them to. You gave them the power to ruin your life. You need to take control of your life and take control of it fully. And admit your admit your mistakes and admit your faults and miss your wrongs. And your life is going to be, I'm telling you, all that weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders, you know? Instead of going out three, four days a week, go out once. I'm not telling you to be a stingy person, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you got to enjoy your life. But start putting away money and have a game plan and execute it. People ask me all the time, homie, how can I get rich? I don't know how you can get rich. All I can tell you is the formats that got me rich is... Save your money and keep investing. Anybody can buy and sell. That's the number one thing. You, you buy something, it sells itself. If somebody wants it, they're going to buy it off you for the right price. So you you have to become sort of an investigator to go in and buy things at a cheaper price and try to resell it. It ain't like back in the days. Back in the days, you used to get crackheads and shit that'll sell you something that costs $800, sell it you for $20 because they don't know. So the, the times got harder. Even crackheads got Google. I'm like, nigga, I just Googled this. This cost six hundred dollars. Like, dang, I remember when crackheads used to sell Xboxes for five dollars. Now they want to sell shit for a hundred. They listen. Times is hard. You just got to do a little bit more investigation, investigative work. That's it. I'm about to take this car to my nephew right now. It's his birthday tomorrow, and you know I'm really happy for him. Like, you have no idea. Like, I'm truly happy for him. 40 grand couldn't have made me happier than what I have. I'm happy now. I'm happy that he's going to be happy. I'm not even happy because I bought a car. I'm happy because he's going to be happy. If I would have bought this car for me, I would have been like this. <laughs> I would have been like, like depressed. Taking this shit back? No, because you know what? Money doesn't excite me anymore. I'm telling you, when I was at my poorest, I was at my happiest. You know what I'm saying? I didn't cheat on my wife. I was happy with my son being there. I was playing Xbox. I was playing uh, games professionally. That's what I love to do. You know, I was selling DVDs. I was interacting with people who really wanted to be around me. Because when you're when you're down, when you're at your poorest, the people who are around you, they're around you because they love you or they want to see you do better. Not because you, they benefit off you, because you don't have nothing from the benefit. Unless you're like a videographer, people, oh, or unless somebody wants something for free. If you know how to cook, they'd be like that. They wanna, they, you notice when people call you, the first thing they do is be like, people that you didn't hear from for months, like, hey, how you been? Yeah, y'all wanted to know if you could do this for me. Always call. But people who truly love you, they'll, they'll be around you whether they can benefit or not off you because they love you. And that's a fact. I want to surround yourself around them people. But there's nothing that that brings me more joy than to give him this and see the joy in him. That, that's my joy out of it. You know what I'm saying? Pat myself on the back for that. Because, like, I'm telling you, man. People, A lot of people don't like me. A lot of people talk shit about me. But let, I'm not a threat to no one. I don't care what you did to me. I forgive you. And if I was wrong, if I ever did you wrong or ever said something stupid to you or disrespected you in any way, I apologize as a man. You know, like it brings me nothing but joy in this cruel ass world to just put out a positive message. It costs me nothing to be positive. It costs me. No I, I, I get mad like everybody else does. You know, we're all human. But you know, treat people around you right, and then everybody's just uplifted a little bit by it. It's too much bad shit going on in this world to be a, to, to be down and every you no know, the cool thing right now is for everybody to be fucking be gangster. I shoot nigga. I ain't shooting shit. I got security. You rob me, I'ma call the cops. I ain't into that street shit no more, yo. Like, listen, I'm too positive for that shit. I'm, I'm locking your ass up. 
<laughs> Not real shit, yeah. You know, it brings me, it brings me joy to know that he's gonna be happy with this car. And it's only he never had nothing like this. So yeah, see you guys at the house. Let's go. Oh, he gotta move that jump. Yo, yo, move it all the way up there. Go ahead, go get him. Yo, only got this tough ass limbo. Yeah, look. You got see, you know, I thought you used the police. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you used the police. I'll tell you, bro, this man is shit, bro. Boom, happy birthday, cuz. It's for me, dude. Nah, I ain't. Real shit. Yeah. What he got? Yeah. What he got? I went half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> payment registration. Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro. Yeah. Nah, nigga, stop playing. What he got? Yeah. 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 We all out here too, though. What's up? Damn, this shit crazy. You can't look at that car, cuz. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> 2019, cuz. What about the crowd? He only wants like y'all got I'm the terror I'm light skinned, bro. I, I got a terror with <laughs> the He's the light skinned. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, bro. Damn. You gotta go try that, Joe. Your first ride. Your first ride. Your first ride. Your first ride. You gotta go pick up kid right now. Kid, goddamn. Oh, shoes. Chill, get in there. Gotta get my shoulder out of there. Drove it on me? Yeah. You like it, Ray John? Yeah. Well, you got about 47. Yeah, I'm ready to drive it. Not that one, but I want, I'll get it like a, like a, a Shelby. You want to drive it? You tripping? I mean, I won't drive it. It'll be parked up, but <laughs> it still looks good. <laughs> My first gift in 13 years, bro. Oh, is it? Worth the wait. <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah, right. Swear to God. You didn't get a gift? Never. 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 <laughs> he said, he said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You took your wish. Nice. So blessed, bro. Shit, it's crazy. I'm about to. Yesterday, I was watching the videos that I was going to get him a Corvette. That he seen the, he seen the Mustang versus the versus the 1LZ. He's like, that Mustang is a beauty. I'm like, all right. Come on, you bro. Knew, you knew it was coming. Nah, I didn't, I didn't know it was coming. I swear to God. I swear to God. You should be watching the videos. You like buying a lot of cars, nigga. That's all for you. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, hey. Watching Mustang. <laughs> yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> coming on? Some to order come in. You got. We gotta go. Where we going? We gotta go get kid. Come on, we go wherever you want to go now. Shit feel good, bro. No bullshit. You know how long I wanted like a car like this? It's like you know when something happens, bro, and you can't even believe that shit. Like, you know it happened, nigga, but you still like there, like, wait, what the fuck? But nah, man, I really appreciate that. I didn't know he was gonna do this, I ain't gonna lie. He helped me out a lot. I was down to nothing, to nothing. And he helped me out a lot, a lot. I'm like, it's gonna get emotional. It's cool, bro, it's cool. Bro. <laughs> but nah, bro. I've been through so much, and he and he stepped up and helped me out. And he still by it. And bro, I still can't believe it. My heart beating right now. If you wanna pull over and cry, we can do that, though. Nah, 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 nah. That's, that's later. <laughs> But yeah, man. Nah, you got a good heart, though, for real. You did a lot for me. I was looking outside for a Lambo and shit. <laughs> I seen this, I was like, what? Thank you, old man. I don't know, I'm gonna keep saying thank you every damn day, the rest of my life. For everything, not even just the car, for everything. Like, I was, it's, it's really good people in this world. Yeah, oh yeah. Even was, though, like, all the shit that you went through and everything. Hey, I was down to nothing, bro. To nothing. I know, I remember you was telling 
If you do your mind, it's just going on the camera. Nah, like, that's cool. I was like, really down to nothing. Like when you say nothing, what do you mean by nothing? Like, like explain that story. I was out without a. I was out without a house, nowhere to stay, no car, no money, no nothing at all. And now, Paul gave me a call, and he he said he wants to help me out. Cause I don't like, I don't really like asking for help. I rather just try to, you know, get through it. And he said, I got you. Like you, like, you know, you my nephew, I got you. And since then, you've been you still by everything. You been helping me out. I appreciate that a lot. Can't thank him enough. the war and back and I'm glad someone you know someone actually cared or you know somebody actually stood up for me like I remember, remember the day we was, we was driving to New York was telling me the story about everything and how we used to stay with your friend yeah we used to all stay in that one room yeah it was just it was just me and um one of my friend Javi call him Javi it was like well, this, after, this after your, your uncle passed away, right? Yeah, it was after. So, uh, I was going to do that like almost my whole life. Mm -hmm. I was going to do that for a while. Staying with like friends and stuff. But I was still in the same situation. I was with my, I was with my friend. And um, in an apartment, it was like seven of us. And I, in a two bedroom. In a two bedroom and then um. So I had to live like that for a while. And I always kept it to myself. I didn't say much, you know. I just still tr try to work and kept, you know, kept doing what I gotta do. Just so I can eat, I did whatever I had to do to eat. And, you know, just to maintain. And, um, so yeah, I did whatever I had to do. And then, like, oh, oh I heard about it and then. He knew about everything I was going through. And he stepped up for me. And he actually helped me out. Even though I hate asking for help. I'd rather go through everything. He told me he got me. And how did that feel when you know that somebody really got you? Like, just heard it in your corner. Yeah, because I, I heard that a lot. You know? Right. And a lot of people told me they got me. Or you could, you know, I got you. You know, you could stay with me or something. Then I got to leave like the next week or something, you know? Like right. with him, he still buy it. And that feels good because now one time, you know, like he's just always he's always there no matter what. I know I could count on him no matter what. And he actually meant it. There's not a lot of people like that. To be honest, I haven't met anybody like that. Besides him right now. Thank came for the rest of my life, for everything. No matter what. <laughs> you like to jump for real? No, no, seriously. Oh, okay, bro, trust me, man. You know how thankful I am. Yo, Lex would have hype right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at that jump. Yeah, that's what I said. I ain't seen that shit until like, really? Listen, happier than I. If I would have bought myself a new car, I would have just parked. I wouldn't have been happy. I'm happy. You happy? Crazy. Peace out, y'all. The next one. Looking up to see no sun. Looking down to see drip. That's right. Neck work for half a million. Niggas mad cause I'm living. On Instagram trying to kill him. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Twin sides had to sleep on it. New crib, drop three on it. Hit the club and just keep going. See, I'm going stop, but I keep throwing. If you